Hello everyone and welcome back to another pack with me. My name is Morgan and today I'm going to be packing for a seven day Royal Caribbean cruise. We're going mainly to the Bahamas so that's kind of where our port of calls mostly are this time. We're leaving out of New Jersey in about a week from now um, so just getting everything packed and ready to go. I'm going to show you some of the clothing items that I'm packing, a little bit of my preparation process in general for trips, um, things that I'm using to make everything organized, things I'm bringing along, and hopefully you enjoy. So this is like my third pack with me video, um, my second cruise pack with me. I did my first one about a year ago when we went on a cruise to in Europe. So we went to Greece and Italy. So this is the other year you know we're going more towards the Bahamas Florida things like that so hope you enjoy um, this is very scattered I've realized that if I don't start filming these early <laughs> they won't happen at all because I seem to do this at the last minute and then I start off really strong and then I scramble and then I forget to film the second half <laughs> or finishing up so Hopefully I finish this one in totality because I would really like to help anyone else that's going through um, a cruise packing process right now and needs a little bit of motivation, inspiration. So I'm going to bring you along. So here we go. Those who have seen my previous pack with me, as you know that this is the starting process. This is our guest room in our house and this is where... I prefer to start the packing process just because this is an uh, empty room that we have. So. I am very impressed that my husband has started packing his stuff already. Like all of this is his, which is a big deal because he's not typically an early packer. So um, that must mean he's excited. So that is all of my stuff that I'm getting ready over there. Um, I've started just pulling things out, putting things together that I know I'll be taking and that I won't need between now and then. So I'm going to take you through some of my piles as of now. So, as I said, these are my piles so far. These are just some things that I've taken out of my room um, and my bins underneath my bed and things like that. These are things that I've always keep packed. Um, so this is like a little emergency kit. Um, and then this is what I pack my electronics in anytime I go on a trip. Um, and then I've got some things from Amazon that I picked up. Pile of clothes that I'm planning on bringing. Um, and then just some other things that I've pulled to the side, like my cameras I'm going to bring, um, a little evening bag, a beach tote, um, I'll probably bring my Lulu belt bag, um, this is like a beach bag as well, a little clutch, um, these are some sandals, so yeah, just started pulling things together so that I can have a starting point to go off of, um, like I said, that is my husband's pile as of now, which is great. I'm so happy that he's started packing already. And then this pile is things that I've picked up from Amazon. Um, I've never used these before, but we're going to try these because we're going to go like kayaking, snorkeling kind of thing. So I wanted um, a waterproof phone solution. Everyone always recommends hooks, magnetic hooks for your cabin because the walls are magnetic. So I got some of those. These are little travel tide detergent packs. So if we need to wash anything in the sink, I'm gonna bring these just in case. I always love having a pump hand soap in the bathroom because I hate bar soap in bathrooms. I just feel like they don't get your hands very clean. So I got that. Um, just some makeup remover wipes, uh, wrinkle release spray. This is a clothesline, so it um, has little hooks and you can hang things on there like bathing suits and things like that. So that is um, the clothesline. And then I got these, I don't know, they're kind of ugly, but I got water shoes because, um, like I said, we're doing the kayaking, snorkeling thing, and I just feel like these will be good for the kayaking. So I'm going to bring it these as well. They were very cheap on Amazon. Here I have started my pile of swimsuits. So these are just some swimsuits that I've pulled aside. Um, and then I have a cover-up. This is one of my formal outfits, I think. And then just a few dresses that I've pulled as well. 
just some snacks. Um, I got these for my husband. They're little water packs that you put for Gatorade in your water bottle. So I got some of those. So that is everything that I have so far laid out. And then coming into my room, I'm so excited because I got my first Fashion Pass order. So Fashion Pass is a clothing rental service, kind of like Rent the Runway. And so I'm going to try it out for my trip. And it wasn't supposed to come till Monday. So I'm happy that it came today and I can try those on to see if they fit and they work for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to try these on as well to pack. So this is what is currently in my fashion pass. So I have the plan where you get to have three outfits and then two accessories. So these are my three um, clothing pieces, sorry. And then I guess these are the sunglasses and then I got a bucket hat. So I'm gonna try those on now. All right, so this is the first one. It's a little Aster the Label dress, one shoulder. It could be really cute, but it's really big, and so I just don't feel like it's cinching me like I'd want it to. I feel like I could get away with it, but it just doesn't feel flattering. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be this roomy, but it's hard because I have another Aster the Label dress that's a small and it fits well, but it's almost a little snug. So that's why I didn't order the small, but maybe I should get the small on this one. I can send it back and, you know, get new things, but I have to send everything back <laughs> to get new things. So I'm like, not sure if it's gonna be worth it, but I will try on the other items. But I think it's cute. I just think it needs to be a little bit more snatched in the waist. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what this one is, so. Moving on to the next, which is, a sh I have two tops. No, I have a full set and then a top, so I'm gonna try those now. All right, this is the second one, which I really, really wanted to like, but I just don't. It's a little matching set. It's like little shorts. And then this top, which is like cute little preppy stripe. I feel like it would be so cute in the Bahamas, like on our boat excursion or whatever. But it just, the shorts are like <laughs> really square. I can't. I really, really wanted to like this. I feel like if I wore it open, maybe I could make it work, but I really don't want to settle. So... I think I'm gonna return this one too. All right, I do love this one. It's like a oversized, like Hawaiian button up um, from Show Me Your Moo Moo and I love it. I feel like it's like tacky tourist, but like cute. I don't think I'd wear it with jeans, but if I put like some cute black shorts or jean shorts or whatever, I just think it's really cute. It's got like little map print, like tropical. It fits like um, those Madewell button-ups, which I love. So I definitely think that I want this one. This is a medium and I feel like the size is just right. So yeah, this was a win. Okay, these are the little glasses that I got, which are so not my style. And I have such a big face. Don't know if these will look good, <laughs> but here is the hat. Kind of hard to show you. There we go. I don't know. With my shirt, it definitely is quite a tacky tourist moment, but I do think this would be cute with like a swimsuit and like a cover up or something. Um, it's a lack of color hat. So those are like pretty good quality. I do feel like it's a little faded, but it is a rental. So like, what can you expect? But I feel like it's kind of cute. I mean, I get two accessories and I don't know what else I would choose, so maybe I'll keep the hat. I don't know. I don't know. This is hard to tell. All right, so I'm going to pull some things from my closet that I'm going to bring with me. Um, I think I'll just pull more than maybe I'm going to bring in reality, just to narrow it down. So bear with me. 
I'm definitely gonna bring this little top. It's got little bows on the sleeves. This is a new top that I got from Marine Layer. So I definitely will be bringing this little tank top um, to wear with shorts or jeans, um, just as like an easy thing to put on. So I'm gonna bring this. I also am gonna bring this white button up, easy, breezy. Um, this is from Abercrombie. It's a small, but it's pretty oversized. It's like something to throw over a bathing suit and things like that. So I'm gonna bring this. I might bring this little top, brahmi, whatever you call it. Um, it's a little crop from Aritzia. I've never worn it, but maybe I will on this trip. Who knows? I probably will bring this little dress, which is a Savannah Jane dress from like a little boutique. Um, a lot of boutiques sell this brand, but this is just an easy dress to wear. Um, I got it when we went to, for when we went to Cancun. So I've had it for a few years, but I think it's very cute and easy. So I'm gonna bring this. I'll also be bringing this navy blue um, dress. It's like a tiered dress. Um, it is from Vineyard Vines. Cute little ruffle. I could put over some suit, wear it to dinner, whatever. So I'm gonna bring this one. I do think I should bring jeans, which I've never brought on a cruise or a tropical trip before, but since we are sailing out of New Jersey, I feel like it's gonna be kind of chilly on the way down there and on the way coming back. And I've heard people say that they definitely wore like jeans and a sweatshirt or something. So I might just wear that to the port so I have them. I'm not sure which jeans I'm gonna bring, but I think that is gonna be something I'm gonna bring with me. In terms of shoes, um, I'm gonna bring these little sandals. They're from Target, I got them probably 2021. So I'm gonna bring these, these are really cute. You can throw them on with many dresses and things like that. So I'm gonna bring these. I think these are also really cute little bow sandals. Um, I wore them on my cruise last year too. And I feel like, again, easy. I love wearing sandals. I'm from California and in Southern California, we would wear sandals all year long. <laughs> And that was mostly, I feel like, my footwear. And in New York, you rarely wear sandals. And even in the summer, like when you go to the city, you do not want to be wearing sandals. So I don't wear sandals very much anymore. So when I do get to wear sandals, I definitely want to. So I feel like I'm gonna bring these. These are like small and easy to pack anyways. Um, when I'm talking about pool shoes or like things to wear to the beach that can get wet and things like that, I'm gonna bring these Sanooks, I think that's what they're, how you pronounce them, but they're like the squishy flip-flop. So these are my like go-to beach sandal that I've had for a long time. And I feel like they like don't wear down very easily. So definitely gonna bring these for like my beach pool type of shoe. Um, for like a little dressier shoe or something that I can wear to dinner and things like that. I just got these new wedge, I don't know what these would be called because they're not really a wedge, but they're like a cork heel. Um, and they're from Tom's, which I used to wear Tom's all the time as a kid. I loved Tom's um, and I have not worn Tom's in years, but these are really cute. Um, I think they were like 50, $60. Ugh. No, that's probably not right. They were definitely more than that. I don't know how much they were, but they were a good price um, and I've been really trying to, when I'm buying new things, I'm really only trying to buy from more ethical, sustainable brands. So that's how I'm kind of limiting myself when I shop and things like that is, yeah, I'm just really trying to buy from more ethically made, sustainably made brands and Tom's are one of those. So. This is one of the few new clothing items that I bought for the cruise. They actually might be my only new item besides that marine layer tank, which is also an ethical, sustainable brand um, that I bought like brand new to bring on the trip. So that has been a really good practice and exercise for me because I tend to over shop, over buy. 
and I'm just really tired of accumulating things that are like way too trendy and that you just get rid of um, or don't want to wear after that trend has passed. And so anyways, these are a shoe that I hope to keep for a while because I feel like they're really versatile. They're not too tall. They're really comfortable. Um, they're pretty like squishy. So I'm going to bring these because you can pretty much put them with any dress that I've brought. Um, they're not like super formal, but I don't feel like people on cruises are even formal anymore. <laughs> so I feel like these could work for a formal night. Maybe I'll bring one more um, heel option. It's like a little bit dressier, but definitely going to pack these ones. But other than that, I feel like for major clothing pieces, I don't know. I'll see what I get in from Fashion Pass. Like I definitely want to bring that button up. Um, and then I already have a few dresses packed in the other room that I'm bringing. And then I'll just pick out like shorts and things. But I feel like those are the majority of clothing pieces that I'll bring besides probably like a little jacket, um, maybe a denim jacket or something like that. But that um, probably takes care of like majority of clothing items that I'll be bringing. So now I just need to go, I have like a set that I wanna bring, workout clothes, pajamas, things like that. Um, so I'm gonna move on to that now. So like I said, I'm gonna bring, um, I forgot I have two sets. So one of them is this short and matching colored shirt set. I got this for um, Disney last year when we went to Disney World and I wore it in Epcot and it was so cute. Um, it kind of looked like pajamas, <laughs> but I feel like they're in now. And so I was a little bit ahead of the curve, but going to bring this little matching set. And then this is my second matching set that I wore to Greece last year, which also could look like pajamas, but it's like a cruise leisure resort wear type of vibe. So um, these are the little shorts and then it has a tank that matches. So I guess they're probably categorized as like leisure resort wear, but I'm going to bring those two sets because those are perfect for just hanging around the ship. Other shorts that I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring a pair of denim jean shorts. I don't like wearing shorts that much, but I feel like on vacation is like the only time that I want to wear them <laughs> besides like my short sets. I feel like those are more cute and I don't know. I'm just not a shorts fan. I'm not a fan of my legs. So I'm like self-conscious about my legs, which is awful. I know I need to love my body and there's no reason to be self-conscious, but we all have our things and that is my thing. Um, and then these black little fabric-y shorts that I got last year. And then I have these like chambray, um, <laughs> they're so wrinkly, um, chambray shorts that I can bring as well. So I'm going to bring probably those three, if not just two of them. Other than that, let's see. So I need to get like underwear, pajamas. I pretty much gathered my swimsuits, um, socks, workout wear, like I said. Um, I'm probably going to bring at least a pair of tennis shoes. I mean like a workout pair, but I'll probably just wear that pair of workout shoes. Um, if I need tennis shoes any other days because I really don't want to bring a ton of pairs of tennis shoes unless I wear them on the ship. But those are get so bulky. Um, so I'm probably going to take like my hokas because um, I can wear those out in port. I feel like if we're doing some type of activity, um, I guess I kind of have cover ups and I can wear like any of these sets as cover ups too. So that is it for that. And then other like prep types things that I'm going to do. Um, so I did get my hair done a few days ago. So I got it a little bit brighter, a little trim. Um, so that is done. I got a pedicure earlier this morning. So that is done. I'm getting my fingers, my nails done on Friday. So that's in a few days. Um, and then I have a spray tan on Saturday because we leave on Sunday. So those are like the prep things that I'm gonna be getting done. Um, I did already print out our boarding, or not our boarding pass, luggage tags. So if you're not familiar with cruising, you have to kind of print off a little luggage tag and attach it to your suitcase. So um, I'm gonna put those on the suitcases. I don't know if we're gonna bring two or three suitcases, like two and a half. So we each have like our big rolling one and then 
we have like a small carry-on size roll that we might bring as well just because I feel like we always need more room and since we're not flying anywhere which is so nice we're just driving to the port in Jersey it we're not like really limited on um, suitcase space so we probably will bring end up bringing the three bags my husband's kind of an overpacker too which is so funny because I feel like we both wear like the same things at home all the time but then when we pack we wear like a million outfits and you know with cruising or any vacation that you're um at the beach or the pool and stuff like that you end up needing a lot of outfits um because you're changing throughout the day so you might wear one outfit in the morning to like eat go get breakfast and then you might have your pool or beach thing or port outfit and then you're gonna want to like shower and change for dinner <laughs> and so you end up changing multiple time times throughout the day so that is just a hint or tip I guess um, for people who have never cruised before is that you always need at least underwear <laughs> you need a few more than you think you will because you are changing throughout the day um, and if it's like hot and you're sweating like you're not gonna want to rewear clothes very often um, so just keep that in mind um, swimsuits I would always bring like at least two um, because one's probably gonna be drying but um, I did get that little drying rack, um, not a rack, it's like a bungee cord and then you can clip things on it to dry. Um, so I'm going to bring that so they can hang to dry. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go through, maybe show you a few of like the toiletry things that I'm going to be bringing as well that um, are always great essentials um, for traveling. So uh, I we do travel pretty frequently. <laughs> um, We've gone on quite a few trips already this calendar year and we traveled a lot last year, but I tend to keep travel things packed um, if I can help it, you know, things that I don't really need on the daily. So one of those is like my shower things. So this is like a little zip bag from Sephora and in it I have a razor, shampoo, conditioner, um, shave gel, and a body wash. So this, um, oh, and my face wash, which is somewhere in there. Um, this I keep packed normally. Um, I'm going to go through and see if I need to refill anything because I might need to replenish some of these. Um, so I'm going to go through that. But this I typically keep packed um, throughout the time just so it's easy to grab. So that is my shower stuff. And then this is another bag that I'm not sure how I'm going to be bringing this exact one, but this has a ton of essentials in it packed. So we have masks, we have this downy wrinkle release, which it's like the old label. It's literally so old. I probably got this in like 2017, 16. So I really don't think it even works anymore. I don't know. I might ditch it because I just got those new ones. I feel like this didn't even work when it came out. So this one's probably not effective anymore. So I might ditch that. But um, this is just stuff that I keep packed in here so that I can just select what I want to bring. Like I've got a poncho from Disney, um, a little travel size hairbrush, safety pins, um, eye drops, a makeup remover, band-aids. I am going to be bringing these C-bands, which I've had for a very long time, and they're great for motion sickness. Um, I am kind of a lightweight when it comes to getting motion sick, but I have never felt motion sick on a cruise. So either that means I haven't really experienced a lot of cruise um, movement, or Maybe cruises don't affect me. I don't know. But they're just little wristbands and they have this knob on them that you're supposed to wear on your inner wrist and it hits a pressure point that's supposed to help with nausea. So I will be bringing these. They're not always the cutest to wear, but you're going to want to wear them if you're motion sick. You're not going to care. And I have heard that this specific route of cruise that we're doing can get rocky and this model of ship is more narrow and so I guess it can move more or something so I will be bringing these I also probably should find our Dramamine or whatever 
too because I'm probably going to want to bring that as well. Um, but anyways, I can either pack this with everything or pack it in another bag. I'll see um, what's going to happen. But I, I will bring a few masks even though they're not requiring them right now. I just would hate to not have one and we need one. So I'm gonna bring um, some things from there. And then I typically travel with, um, I guess three toiletry type bags. So the first being shower things. So these are all things that get wet in the shower. So that is um, one bag. My second bag is more of like bathroom bag. And this has deodorant, hairbrush, makeup remover, micellar, dry shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste. So these are like maybe some skincare. These are more like bathroom items. Um, and then the third bag that I'll bring is strictly makeup. So last year I got this hard case makeup um, bag and it was rectangular and it's big. I have to, it's in the closet right now, but I loved it, but then I realized it took up like one fourth of my suitcase and I'm really not that into makeup. Um, and I feel like on vacation, I always pack so much makeup thinking that I'm gonna like be this glam queen on vacation. And then it's like, it's vacation. Like maybe for formal night, you wanna do more of like a glam makeup, but on the daily you're like wearing sunscreen and um, I just end up not really wearing a ton of the makeup that I bring. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring that big like case one it just takes up too much space so i'm probably just going to bring like a similar type of bag like this for my makeup so that is um that are all those are all the bags that i bring for like toiletry type of things and then my husband has the same herschel bag that he keeps his toiletries in um and he just has one because he doesn't use that many products but that um, is kind of a overview of all the toiletries and things that I'm gonna bring for this trip. And I think I'm gonna give you an overview of what my husband's packing in case any husbands or boyfriends or men or anyone else besides um, a girl are watching this and want to know what to pack for a cruise. So this is an overview of everything that my husband's bringing. These are his packing cubes, these cream ones. Those are just from Amazon, very cheap. Um, I totally turned him on to packing cubes though, so he is very into them. So it looks like he's bringing some um, button-up shirts. So this is like a really light, easy one. I think it's from Cotton On, and he can put that over um, a swimsuit or whatever. So this is one shirt. Looks like he's bringing his Hawaiian shirt, and then he got two more Hawaiian shirts. Um, and then these are his shorts, so he's bringing like a more athletic -y type of short, two pairs of those, a pair of green, and then a pair of Travis Matthews like nicer golf shorts. These are so great. So these are called like Swundies or something. And they're American Eagle swim specific underwear for guys. So he really likes these. They're like quick dry. Um, so he's bringing these. Um, this is a pair of swim shorts. These are chubbies, I believe. So he's bringing a pair of those. Another pair of swim shorts. Wow, he's bringing three swimsuits. So he's bringing these three pairs of swim shorts and then his swandies. It looks like he's also gonna pack his, like a carry-on. This is like his Lulu backpack. So that is that. He's got his glasses case, a watch band. That's our cash. So we um, get our cruise tip money in cash before we go. Um, so that is his little envelope of cash that we're bringing. And then he put out a, a sunscreen, which is really cute. So um, that is kind of an overview of the things that he has so far packed. I did go to Target earlier today and picked up some things, but I don't even think I really picked up anything for the trip, which is kind of funny. I thought it was gonna be more of like a trip, trip um, to Target, but it wasn't. So. Um, yeah, I was going to film like a little bit in Target and then I'm like, I'm not even getting anything from Target for the trip because I really feel like we both have everything we need and I'm trying to minimize extra spending for our trips because I always get so excited and I want to go buy toiletries and like all this stuff from Amazon and it's just not necessary. I mean, I showed you that little pile over there of stuff that I've been like accumulating from Amazon already and I just don't want to go 
more overboard than that. Um, so that is a broad overview of everything that we have going on. Um, like I said, I still have some appointments this week and so does he. And I haven't even put anything in a suitcase actually. So I'm going to try to film that part as well. But that is a broad overview of all of our cruise essentials um, and some main pieces that we're bringing. So I'm going to hop back on when I've packed some things actually in my packing cubes. All right, good morning. It is the next day, so it's Sunday morning around like 9 a.m. Um, I am not gonna go to church this morning because my husband is working this weekend, so I just don't like to go by myself. Um, so I'm gonna play hooky from church today um, and just get some more things done for packing and things like that. Not much progress was made from yesterday, um, yeah. Not much else happened in terms of packing. Um, we just decided to pause on that, um, but gonna get back at it today. So I did go out and buy a pack of waters and Dramamine, which is a motion sickness medicine. So I did go out and buy that because you can take some waters on the ship with you. Um, but other than that, didn't really do too much. I am gonna go to the store again today I know I said I was trying not to buy a lot, and I'm still not, but um, I am going to just take a sunscreen inventory to make sure all of our sunscreen is okay before I go out and buy more, but um, I have to get a few things at Michael's. I'm throwing my friend a baby shower, so I'm going to go to Michael's, and then I might go to Walmart, which is not my favorite place. The Walmart here is just really disorganized. Um, it's always crowded, so it's just not my favorite place, so... But I will be going to Walmart just because I feel like it's right there by Michael's anyways. Um, so I'm going to see if, again, I need any sunscreen. Um, and I'm just going to take a quick inventory of a few other things to see if there's anything else that we could possibly need. Because I really don't think I'm going to be going to the store again between now and then. And yeah, I don't feel like I need anything else from Amazon or anything. So going to do that this morning. Um, might go into Kohl's. Sephora to see because I need a few makeup items but that should be it so yeah I will show you our piles again today just to show you that I think it's gotten worse before it's gotten better but we'll see and here is our sunscreen supply and after sun stuff as well so I'm gonna go through this and see if anything's expired what we want to take things like that so I can see if I need to get any more, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna need to get anything else. We have quite a lot here. This is what I've narrowed it down in terms of sunscreen. So I'm gonna be bringing this Bear Republic 30. It's a mineral sunscreen, so it has zinc in it. So this is a 30. And then I'm gonna bring this SPF 50 Super Goop. It is incredible, love Super Goop products. Um, and we got this spray one, which is super cool. A face mist. This one is my husband's favorite because it's like a spritz instead of a constant spray like these ones are. And it doesn't burn your face or your eyes when you're spraying it in your face. It's water resistant um, and it's 45. And that's easy to just like throw in the bag and reapply. So these are the sunscreens I think I'm going to bring. And then I'm also going to bring this cool down, which is like a aloe after sun lotion, which is great. And it doesn't have that much left. So um, and we barely really use this, so I feel like this will be good and I could just ditch it if we um, run out of it and we want to bring it back. So those are the sunscreens. So I'm glad I checked so I do not need to go and get more sunscreen. All right, so I'm back at my house for my spray tan. It's been a few days since I last recorded, but it's the day before we leave on our trip. Like I said, just got my spray tan, got some Starbucks. Um, I'm going to finish up packing today. Got my nails done, my toes are done. So I think everything's pretty much getting there. Um, my husband is working on homework today, so I don't know how much I'll be recording because I don't want to disturb him doing his homework. So yeah, I'll try to document the rest of the process of just putting things in my suitcase, but I am just about ready to go. So yeah, that has been the progress so far. Definitely a little bit tanner than I <laughs> went there, so that's good. But yeah, that's the status as of now. All right, so I have packed a little bit more. I can show you my progress here, but my tan is developing as we speak. I'll probably shower tonight to rinse off 
the outer layer. Um, wow, the light is really funky. But yeah, packed most everything. So just getting ready to go now. A lot of progress has been made. Um, so I'm going to end up bringing my big away suitcase. And then I'm going to bring a small away suitcase as well. But I feel really good. I feel like I packed mostly everything. So it doesn't look like it, but I would say 80% of it is packed at this point. So like I said, that is a carry-on that I'm going to check at the um, port. So that is that suitcase. And then this is my large away. It's mostly packed. Just got a few more packing cubes here. But yeah, that's my husband's clothes. I still got to put some shoes in there. I was filming a reel, so I have my tripod there. But this is one of the wines we're going to be bringing. It's a summer water. Really good little wine for warm weather. But yeah, that is... That's the status right now. Still in PJs. It's like 2 p.m. on Saturday. But yeah, thanks for following along this far. So tomorrow we're going to leave. Um, probably around 8.30 in the morning. We get on the ship at 11. But yeah, that is that. All right, we're packing up the car, getting ready to go. Mm -hmm.